folks. About to get some rain. out here. Laconia time. How we doing? We're ready to ride up. Everybody's got their bikes ready. Devin's ready now. Look at him. I haven't painted myself with sunscreen yet. I'm not ready. I got lots of sunscreen on. Rig a rip! What happened? Got our first check engine light of the trip. The old road glide. So we're gonna check it. It's not a problem. Turn your key. Turn your key. Well, there it is. You see him. There's your code. What is it? P0503H. That's the only one. It's correct. Don't worry about it. Huh? Well, it's, it has an H after it. Ignore it. He, he got it on the way up, so it, went, it cleared was itself. And then it, it cleared itself. It's like probably the, from the burnout I did at that stoplight. It does it every time. Probably. We can, uh, yeah, we can check at least what it was. It's still running. Yeah. Check what it was. Make sure it's nothing serious, but go from there. It's fully covered under warranty. Exactly. But we're in New Hampshire now, so. Uh. I've got like 17 historic codes on that thing. <laughs> Yeah, Pan Americas. All right, we're going to grab some food, some snacks. Don't need gas, but then we'll keep making our way down the street. Bob? It's a little hot here, but uh, good time. Yeah, that's cool. I would not go up that mountain. No, you have to be legally insane to do that. Let's see when we go up it. That ain't me. Yeah. Get to bring the people at home some footage of that going up. Well, when this guy comes back down. Sounds I hear four stroke. It's two stroke. I would never do that. All right, we'll get a measurement on that run for Eugene. Almost made it. I smell race, race fuel.
What? Gonna make it? No. We're on 7% grace. We're like three. We're almost at the decline, Bobby. Okay. What are we doing? Walking. At a moderate incline. <laughs> oh, we saw the hill climbs. Got yeah, nice barrel sticks. Hill climbs are done. Sun show is done. Off to the house now. Well, just left Gunstock. We're leaving. East Coast and killed it. It was so loud. Tires shredding. Awesome. Hill climbs were a goof. Those guys are insane. I would never do that. Now it's time for me to start doing rollers and burnouts and shit. All right, just got to our house, we unpacked. Now we're backing out the driveway. Almost just dropped my bike. And we're, amigos don't go away without getting Mexican tacos. So we're on our way to go get tacos and then ride taco repeat so we made it to our airbnb back down the road to el marachi told you we were having tacos you can't go riding without having tacos of course we found the mexican joint Right next to the Airbnb, of course, so we're gonna go get some grub, head down to the strip. Yeah. Good stuff, dude. Nothing back here, everyone just can No, it's just, you get beer and air, more, whatever there. That saved my leg. Well, that's good. I can't believe I kept it up. I saw him come out like three feet in front of me and I just yeah. stiff armed the bars and hit them just straight on. He like bounced off the front and then down the side. And... Forks look okay. You're not leaking anything, right? No. We gotta get that fairing or the uh, lower pull out a bit later. So it doesn't melt. Fine. Just ah, it's just weird to me to see him that stunned. It's been 15 minutes now. Yeah. He's not bleeding. He was for fuck, huh? I was on 25. All right, do you have your license, registration, and going to transfer? It's probably recorded. So back at the scene of the crime, deer ran off. Seemed to be limping a bit. I think the deer took out the mailbox. So that might be part of the uh, problem here. Police are running the paperwork and just checking insurance. But I'm good. Bike's hurt. Graham didn't go down. That's the important part. Didn't even come out of my lane. No, he just took it like a champ. I just straight armed it and bam, right through it. Hit my leg, got hair, all bent in. Forks got some dents on them. The front fender's trashed. Headlights broken. Fairing's probably not in the best shape. It's definitely tweaked. The side of the fairing's definitely twisted. Good news, it's rideable. And you're still upright. You know, the fender's pushed over. Bent right here, see it? That's where the new carbon fire one's going. Absolutely. That's bent. He hit yard right, right here. Boom. That's trash. That's trash. That's trash. It's all trash. Well, the custom dynamics but, are still no, working. No, custom dynamics still work fine. That's, that's what matters. We got, was this deer here? Yes. Bambi here.
They got brakes, right? There's no fluids. That's the other important part. Look at all the hair. There's one there, one there. Oh, it was on the saddlebag, too. So now I've hit a deer and a goose on a motorcycle. You hit a goose? I hit a goose like six years ago. Mm. Nothing that can't be rebuilt or they make more. Yep. All right. We'll update you later. Morning, day two. Smashed a deer last night. Broke up my bike. But she's all good. I already filed a claim deal with that when we get back for now we're going to get some breakfast Cole's doing burnouts we're gonna get some breakfast down the road and then we're gonna head up to Mount Washington rip the Kangamangas Highway should be a good day of riding I'm super hungry right now though it was a late night be a good day a little cloudy start but i think it's going to clear up it's supposed to be like 80 or somewhere around there but uh that was a nice speed bump anyways i'm gonna get breakfast to see you after that up to mount washington in the kank all right we got some breakfast we're all headed toward the white mountains the kankus mankus Everybody's uh, waking up a bit. <laughs> Not really. A couple of bikes here. Nobody wants. Here. There's no fluids coming out of this. There's no oil in it. A couple of dents. You're all right. It'll buff. Oh yeah, she's touching the cylinder. It'll self-clearance. We made it, Mount Washington Auto Road. You going up Mount Washington? If I get up there, I have eight, what is it, eight, seven, eight thousand feet? 6,200, 6, I think. 6,200, my head just... Well, that's because it's a big cranium. Mount Washington? Yeah. You going up Mount Washington? Are you going up Mount Washington? So, are you? Oh yeah. You're going? No, probably not. I'm going to take the deer glide up Mount Washington. No? Why? Cole, you're not going up? Who's not going up? Anyone not going up besides me? We're all going up. I'll go up. I don't really care, but I don't have to. I think Bobby and Moran and I don't think they're going. Nick's going, right? I went home and checked my This is not this one. I think me, Rogers. Where's Matt? Over there. 
I don't know. I don't think this anise is going. But got to get our sticker. Looks like it's a nice day. So if you look, all right, these guys are going up the mountain. We're sitting it out this year. Been up seven times in a row, but Graham's leading the tour of the new guys up, so it should be good. It's like taking the deer glide up. <laughs> taking the deer glide up. It's half clear. It should be good for those guys up there. So, oh, yeah. See you hogs in hell. See you at the bottom. the Kangamangus came down this time a little bit different different view Mike apparently took some bees to the face get stung bees, kill them all. yeah he's always keeping my drinks cold on the road I don't like bees either I went up my shorts one time got my bean bags yeah he's no, no bueno heat waves and uh bell yeah where to next Bob and our HSU mounts are working Tony great Graham's gonna get a deer pinstripe on his bike. <laughs> which was delicious, had a it. great burger. Oh, and we went to the old High Octane Saloon. Nothing most expensive Saw a little rowdiness. Back at the house, hanging out. 30 feet, all kind of shit. Uh, tomorrow's a big demo day. We're gonna ride at least 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 bikes between the 10 of us. Probably auto. All right, good morning, everyone. It's Friday. We're here at Loudon Speedway. All the demo rides. This year we have Harley, uh, Indian, and Yamaha. Uh, Everybody's out, split off, did some demos. I'm most excited. Backpack here is gonna ride, do her first demo ride. She's been practicing on her little 250. So what are you riding today? Street Bob. Street Bob, so she's riding her first Harley. I'm riding whatever they got available. I'm gonna capture some film, keep track of all our wheelies and whatnot. So let's go for a ride. Michelle on the ST.
Whenever you're ready. Looking good, feeling good, right? They just finished up with Mike's Olins. He's parking his bike. Got some smoothies. Smoothies. Pop. Michelle's buying an ST. We're going down. Well, we're going to go back to the dealer. Hit up our favorite Tamarack shack. Shack rack. And then go back to the strip tonight. So, see you there. Last day at the strip for us. We're at the dealer. We're gonna head down to the strip. Got it's windy. It's cold. It's like 55. Somebody just bought a bike, and we're gonna head down to the strip. Then get lunch. Have a good weekend. All right, guys. We made it back. Laconia, 2022. A few rough patches. You know, one bike in the dick weeds. One, one deer. One deer to the front of a road glide, but. And maybe a demo bike accident. Yeah, slight demo bike accident. Might have totaled the demo. <laughs> but the important part is nobody actually got hurt, so that's good. Everybody had a great time. I think I can speak for all our other amigos. I think their favorite part was all the demos. We rode mm -hmm. six or seven bikes each. I don't know, what we finished for miles? I don't know, seven or eight hundred miles for the four days? Not a lot, but. Oh, around. I'm tired. So, yeah, a lot of nights of, you know, only five or six hours of sleep. But, great little trip. We got a lot more coming. You know, we got a big trip to uh, the Dragon this year. Tour card. People getting new bikes, new stuff. Plenty of new videos coming. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Ride safe. Watch out for deer.